Hi, my name is Jeff Sengstack from BlueEffects.net, and I want to give you some After Effects template purchasing tips. No matter where you purchase your templates, I think these tips will help you select the best template for your next video project. I'm going to use this template as an example. Right now we've got some features here toward the top, but I want to scroll down a bit and show you some more detailed versions of those features. Start off with compatibility. After Effects is backwards compatible in that if you make a project on an older version of After Effects, it'll open up on a newer version. But if you make it on a newer version, it won't open on an older version. So we make sure here at Blue Effects that we make our templates on older versions of After Effects so they open up on a wide range of versions of After Effects. So check this to make sure that it'll open up on your version of After Effects. After Effects is cross-platform, so any templates you buy from any competitor or Blue Effects will open up on both Windows and Mac. Some template makers require to use plugins when you work with their templates. Plugins are little programs that run inside After Effects, and if a plugin is required, it's almost always something that you need to buy. Well, no plugins are required for any of the Blue Effects templates. We have something called universal expressions inside our templates. Expressions are little mathematical formulas that cause certain behaviors in some templates, and they're almost always written in English. So if you have a version of After Effects that's in a different language, they may not work in your version. Well, we've universalized all of our expressions to make sure they work on all language editions of After Effects. We also have something called one-click color control. It's mentioned down here, but I want to show you an example that we've provided for your use. This is called Logo 16, and you can get it in the Extras folder and open it up and take a look at it. Some of our templates allow you to change the colors of the elements very easily. This way you can match the colors to your corporate colors, for example. So this ribbon here is all in blue, but we can change all of these colors. Let me show you how easy that is. I'm going to go to Ribbon 1 here, for example, and just click on that once, like that, and I'll pick a color. I'll pick red instead, and there it is. It shows up right in that ribbon like that. I can even change the background color. Go over here, click on that, click on that one little swatch there, and change the color to something else. I'll go to a light blue, for example. So it's very easy to change color. You just click once on the swatch, pick your color, and off you go. A couple more things you might consider. Look at the resolution of the template. We provide ours at full HD. If you shrink it down, it'll still look good. If the templates you look at are not full HD, when you expand them, when you scale them up, they'll get kind of fuzzy looking, a little bit out of focus. So make sure your templates are at least full HD. And finally, we include a video tutorial with our templates to make sure you know how to use them. I hope this quick explanation has helped you, and now you can make a more informed decision when you purchase your next After Effects template.